Hey everyone, Christian here from CK Wraps. Uh, today we're gonna wrap the mirror cap on a Honda Civic. Uh, this is a 20 or 2008 Honda Civic, I believe, or 2010, something like that. Uh, not too sure. I'm sure you can decipher what it is just by looking at it. I'm not too familiar with the year. Anyways, um, we're wrapping this mirror cap in 3M light ivory, uh, all in one piece. Um, it's not too difficult. So we're gonna start. Um, sorry, we're not gonna start anywhere yet. We're gonna wrap it all the way around one piece inside, outside, everything. Um, the inside isn't too difficult, so as long as we keep our film, as long as we keep our film relaxed, um, everything should go well. Um, I will show you a couple of tips and uh, techniques that I use along the way in order to make this uh, successful, and so that we don't have any lifting down the road. Anyways, let's get started. So, what I've done here is I've masked off the mirror cap uh, around the mirror cap, uh, the part that's not going to be wrapped. Uh, because what I want to do is trim off and leave about a quarter of an inch. That way we can roll it around on the inside once I pull the mirror cap off. Um, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a trick there. The mirror cap pulls off pretty easily on these things. Um, I'll show you how when that when we get to that point. So we're gonna start by uh, taking our microfiber cloth, 70% isopropyl alcohol, and prep the surface. I've already prepped the surface, but we'll just go over it again. Make sure you have your blade, squeegee, and 30 degree blade handy. We're gonna take the microfiber cloth, shoot it with a little bit, a little bit of isopropyl, go around the edges, make sure everything's nice and clean. Just kind of where our fingers may not be able to get to. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna heat the surface to uh, evaporate the isopropyl alcohol. Just to make sure that uh, we don't have any left behind. I've cut a piece off already larger than the size of the mirror cap. So as we can see here, we've got pretty good coverage. Now what we want to do is remove some of this backing and stick it to the window. And I'm going to put this on a bit of an angle, kind of not, I don't want to put it like this because we don't want to just wrap this area here. We want to wrap this area and this area. So we're going to spread this stretch consistently around these two areas here by putting this on a slight bit of an angle. Let's get the backing off. So I'm just going to reposition it. Stick that down. I'll actually use a magnet here to make sure it holds. And I'll use another magnet down on the fender section to make sure that holds. And so what we want to do is we're going to take this film and we're going to heat it. We're going to heat it all in this area right here. We're going to stretch out the entire piece of film and then put it around the mirror cap. Let's get to it. So I want to heat it to make it nice and soft and pliable so that it conforms easily. And I want to heat it consistently. So what I want to do now is take the film, stretch it out, and lay it across the mirror cap. Now you might say that I'm stretching too far. You'll see why I'm not. So what we want to do now is we're going to pre-shrink this film around before around the mirror cap before we do any cutting. So I'm going to start laying it actually. Making sure we're being uh, thorough and getting the air out. 
We can now go the opposite direction a bit. Same idea, I heat over a large area. I'll take the film and take most of my stretch from this area here because this is a large surface area. I don't want to be stretching too much when we get down to the edges. Stretching too much down when we get down to the edges means that we'll have issues with pullback. is not my favorite film to use. I much prefer uh, Avery or Vivid, even Hexus. So I'm just kind of conforming the chrome the rest of the way around the mirror. I'm not stretching too much. left excess film so that I can put my hands underneath without putting it behind the actual area that's going to be uh, touching the cap itself. So the mirror cap is done as far as laying the film goes. Now what we want to do is alleviate all the strain from all the edges here so we need to pre-shrink the vinyl before we do any cutting. Side was sitting, so I redid it. Okay. So I'm just giving the edges a post heat on top of that. Now the film is sitting on, um, is sitting on masking tape. So let's make sure we got all the air out of here. Let's see a few spots we missed because if we were, if we're using the squeegee to squeegee the air out of the mirror cap, out of the mirror cap, um, it's not very consistent or, or and thorough. So we, unless your squeegee conforms really nicely. That's why I use these blue 3M ones. They're actually pretty good at conforming around surfaces. So see, I missed a spot there. So what I can do is just lift it slightly if the air isn't coming out because it's kind of sealed all the edges after the post seat. What I want to do is trim off any excess film leaving about a quarter to a half an inch around the mirror cap. This is why I've masked off the exterior of the mirror cap so we don't cut on anything and damage it. I will post heat again. Now what 
I want to do is remove the mirror cap. So I know how it comes off, kind of just pull it from the inside here. It's going to get the uh, vinyl off the masking tape, make it a little, a little bit easier for me. This can be a bit tricky. Where's my tool? so easily the first time. There we go. Okay, nothing's broken, they're just clips right here, here, here. So what we wanna do is wrap the vinyl around the edges. It's gonna make things a little bit more durable in the end. heat if you have too much excess you can trim that off on the inside of the mirror cap afterwards we don't have to worry about uh, uh, cutting any paints because there is no paint on the inside of the mirror cap But the way this goes is that these edges, when I heat them right now, they're just kind of shrinking right around the cap. And I'm, I'm helping it out a little bit by pushing down with my finger, but for the most part, uh, these edges will just kind of curl around themselves. I'm just going to fix this one up here. Got a ton of excess right here. I'm just going to trim all that off, make it a little bit cleaner. Just a little bit too much. Perfect. A little bit of excess here. Perfect. So here we have a nice clean mirror cap. I can take this uh, tape off right now. And we can pop this sucker back on. Gotta get it in the right spot. Perfect. And that right there is how you do a mirror cap. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This is Christian at CK Wraps. Um, if you want to see more videos, I will get around to doing more. I'll do a door handle shortly for you so that you can see that. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for following. Take care.